The Ontario Brain Institute, or OBI, is all about doing science differently in order to diagnose, treat, and improve the lives of people living with brain disorders. One of those disorders is depression. We bring together key researchers, we bring doctors who work with patients with the depression, industry partners who are working on new products and drugs that will help the disorder, and patient advocates who can represent the needs of people and their families who live with depression. Uh, depression is one of the leading causes of death. You really don't care about anything. You lose energy. So depression worldwide is the number one cause of disability and distress. Number two, it's also something that hits people early when they're young. There's some people that don't need the drug or any of the drugs, but there are seriously ill people who will injure themselves and cause major damage to their families. I'm a mathematical physicist by training and I uh, use and develop technologies to build um, predictive models. So we want to be able to predict treatment response um, for SSRIs, the medication and depression. And so I build these technologies that you can take a sample, it could be genes, it could be a brain scan, EEG questions from a clinical scale, and we predict how well they may do. Biggest um, issues that I come across in, in my clinical practice is that while we do have these treatments uh, that are out there, they're based in theory and they have data behind them, they just don't work for everybody. You know, no one treatment works for everybody. And this kind of project is what's going to help us match patients to the treatment that's going to work for them. CanBind uh, is a unique study because it really tries to cover all the bases. We're trying to understand depression from a variety of ways. We're talking about early childhood experiences. We're talking about current environmental impacts. We're talking about things like your personality style, uh, your work, uh, aspects and then we're, we're taking someone who's depressed and treating them in a standard way in the way that most people with depression are treated with the standard treatments but we're really trying to understand the, the impact of that treatment with a million different ways of analyzing and uh, collecting information about that person biologically as well as psychologically and uh, through uh, clinical measures. There's some very unique talent here and all working together I think really leverages what's, what's here in a way that's greater than the sum of its parts. The bottom line for everything we're doing is to make the treatment of depression more effective. So the patient is the absolute um, focal point for the work. Um, we are hearing from discussions with patient advocacy groups and with individual patients, uh, how supportive they are of the work, but also uh, how important they think it is that we look at a wide range of treatments. We have our own internal work within, within biomarkers and depression. What we can see is, is uh, that we're very much aligned with, with what uh, the um, aims are in, in something like CAMBIND. We recognize that it requires expertise from various disciplines to do this and we're happy to be able to work with, with the people in CanBind, involved in CanBind and to support this initiative um, and, and be able to contribute with the samples as we have to, to support that work and, and also just be a part of, of the uh, organization. <laughs>